how are you seeing God's glory today? Yesterday, uh, Saturday actually, we were at a friend's house and they have two little girls and there was a huge thunderstorm outside. So we could hear the thunder, we could see the lightning and they were afraid because it's a big sound, right? It's a big uh, light in the sky and a big sound. And as they came in, I find myself saying, oh, it's just God saying hi. <laughs> and I've never thought of that before. I've never said that before. And I realized this morning it's uh, thundering and lightning here too. So you can see the sky is all gray and there was, there was lots of thunder and lots of lightning this morning. And realizing that that's not only God's way of saying hi, but it's his way of showing majesty, of showing how big he is. Think about it. Think about how big our planet is. And think about the fact that God is in the sky that surrounds the whole planet and is showing us his majesty with lightning and thunder. All that needs to happen in order for those two things to happen. How amazing is that? So it's not only when we see thunderstorms and that, that we can see his glory, but what does it look like when we're in our day to day? How can we see how wonderful God's being to us? How can we see how he's showing up strong? I heard something the other day that really struck me. He said, God's always doing 10,000 things in the backgrounds of our lives, even though we may only be able to see three. And I really sat and thought about that for the moment and said, wow, Lord, you really are. All the promises in the Bible say that you are actively at work on our behalf, that you're, as we ask, you answer, as we seek, we find you, as we knock the doors open, that you're constantly being good to us, blessing us, working things on our behalf, protecting us, bringing us all we need. There's so many things. If we just pause and remember who he is, remember how big he is, that he's the creator of the universe as well as our dad, we can see all the amazing things he's doing for us. And that's how we get to see his glory in each day. And it really takes us out of our small circumstances, the ways we look at things down here that are very fixed on what we see in front of us, the circumstances going on in our lives, and lifts our eyes up to heaven and goes, wow, Lord, you are doing so much more in the background than I can ever dare to hope or think or dream or imagine, Ephesians 3.20 which leads to Ephesians 3.21, which is so that you are glorified, so that we see your majesty, we see who you are. So I encourage you today, in whatever circumstances you're in, just to take a moment and say, Lord, will you show me your majesty? Will you show me your glory? Will you show me all that you're doing, all that you're doing on my behalf, um, the things that are way beyond what I can think, way beyond what I can see, so that he can show you how he's being actively good and kind towards you. And then let me know, comment uh, below. What did you see today? How did you see God's glory? How did you see him showing off like only he can and doing the things that only he can? I'm excited to hear your stories. Bless you guys and I'll see you tomorrow.